So if you're new to my channel, just so you know what I make videos on, I tend to do things about crafts. I like to read books, so I'll talk about books, crafts behind me, books below me. I also do stuff on um, just life in general, and I hope you enjoy. So today I'm going to talk about back in April, there was a challenge that the Getty Museum put out, and it was recreating famous pieces of art with items that you have around the home. Since we were all home and still kind of are, all you know, at our home and are not to leave as much as we can, um, they, this was the challenge they put out. And when I first heard it, I thought it was a pretty, pretty cool idea. Kind of, you know, looked at what people were doing. Um, and then I pondered it a little bit. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I have so much time, this sounds like fun. I'm just gonna do it. So I picked three. I originally was just gonna do one, but then I got really into it and I ended up doing a still life, a self portrait, and then just a famous painting. So I try to do a variety of items. Um, it was really fun and it was a challenge finding things around your home that, you know, you know, to kind of make sense for with what you're doing. Um, and so I hope you enjoy. So we're going to go into the three ones that I chose. What I'm going to start with is the painting itself or the portrait itself. And then the one that I recreated, I don't think you'll be that confused because I'm not that talented. So it's, you know, the famous one beforehand and then following the, um, the one I recreated at the end. Hope you enjoy. This first one is by Peter Klaas in 1628. It's titled Still Life with a Skull and Writing Quill. He was known for all of his still lifes. He has a ton of still lifes where he would do repeats of these items in different ways and then add different items in as well. I picked this one because I looked at it and I'm like, wait, I have a glass just like that in my kitchen. And I knew I had a skull from my Halloween decorations. So I thought this would be the perfect one to recreate. What I came into an issue with was I was doing a lot of these during the day, but I learned fast this one's not going to work during the day. Even when I turned out all the lights, closed the shades, did not work. So I had to wait till it was completely dark out, turn off all the lights, and I ended up lighting it with a actual physical lighter next to the camera. So I held the lighter next to the camera as I took the photo, and it kind of gave that same glow as he probably had when he was painting it with can under candlelight. The second piece of art that I chose to do is an Andy Warhol self-portrait from 1986. He has a number of self-portraits, but I thought I could recreate this one because I a, already had the black turtleneck, and I could probably figure out the rest of it on my own. The issue that came up was the backdrop. The backdrop, I don't have walls that color, so I ended up finding my yoga, pulling out my yoga mat, and putting it over like a half wall that I have near my staircase, I crouched down and took the photo from there. It had the better lighting that way. It kind of dimmed it a little bit during the day and made for better lighting. I also struggled with my hair. I don't have hair like Andy Warhol, so I had to spray it with hairspray like crazy as much as I could to get it as big as I could. And then I ended up having to hold it out with my hand because it just was not working or laying like his does. The third thing that I came across was that no matter what I did, there was a reflection on the sunglasses. So I took the photo and this is the only one I edited and I blurred out those reflections. The next piece of art that I did was Vermeer's The Milkmaid. This is one of my favorite paintings and one of my favorite artists. What Vermeer is known for is his lighting and how he does angles in his paintings. So you can see from the window to the top of her head to the box in the corner kind of creates a diagonal effect with also within her apron. I tried to keep these things in mind as best as I could. I also had don't have that much bread in my house at a given time. So I had to, that's the only thing I ended up having to buy um, for any of these was the bread. And I think I bought croissants as well. So just something to keep there. I also had to keep in mind that most of my things are really modern, modern shapes. So I kind of did the best I could with what I had, but I think it came out really well. The lighting turned out really well. One day I looked up and the lighting was perfect. So I knew what time I needed to be taking the photo um, to make it as close to it as I can. I also kept in mind that box down at the bottom of my feet. And I used an apron to kind of almost act as if it's a skirt with an apron because I didn't have a skirt like that. I also don't have a bonnet or head covering like that. 
It's actually a pillowcase that I folded and kind of tied behind my head. So it's kind of fun and I think it worked out really well. This one was the one that most people liked the most and I really do like it. I think it came out um, pretty darn close. And the tablecloth is actually a blanket, but I think it works. Okay, so that's it. Those are the three that I chose to do. I hope you liked them. They are really fun to make and it made me think a little bit differently about stuff that I had in my home. I actually opened my eyes up to a, how modern my stuff is, and B, I really don't have that much stuff just to kind of grab. You really had to think what, you know, few items that I have, what will work in this. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I challenge you now to try it out. So if there's something that you, a painting that you love or that you think you could be able to recreate, uh, try it out and give it, give it a shot. I mean, the worst thing you can do is just I had a friend that did it and she just shared it with me. She didn't post it to social media. She didn't think she did that great of a job. I thought she did a fabulous job, but she said she had fun making it. So you can do all sorts of things, um, post it to social media or not. I mean, it's just, it's just fun. It's just something different to be able to do. And I think it gets that creative side of you, your mind flowing. And you can do this with your family. You can do this with friends. Um, I did it completely on my own and didn't have even a photographer to help me, someone taking the photo. What I ended up doing was, I, you're on a tripod now, but I didn't have a tripod at the time. I ended up placing my phone on a plant stand and putting a timer on my phone and taking it that way. And it worked out just fine. You don't need anything fancy or anything like that. So try it out and like, let me know what, you know, send me the, you know, like your, Tell me that you did post it on Facebook or whatever. I'd love to see it. Um, so yeah, so that's my challenge to you today. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I always post in the description box down below. You'll be able to see the video that I posted before this. I post every week on Wednesdays, film once a week and post on once a week. So Wednesdays is the magical day to check out. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I hope you take care. Bye.